Hello everyone, welcome back for another ASMR session and another Geography ASMR session. And for today we have Africa to be outlined each state and the best known facts about each country explained, of course. Now, because we have 54 states, means that Africa is the most crowded continent in terms of countries. So it will be a longer video. Before we start, I want to send you a big thank you for everyone who subscribed to my channel because yesterday I reached the first milestone and that was 100 subscribers. So for me it's a very exciting point that my videos are appreciated and my work is of course liked and viewed. Thank you very much to all my viewers and subscribers. So let's start our video. And of course we're gonna start like always in the alphabetical orders with all the countries. And I will zoom a little bit in. And first country it's starting with A and it's one of the biggest because we have Algeria. Algeria, which is a country with the capital to Algeris. And I'm going to zoom even more. No, I will highlight it. I will highlight. Okay. Yes, this is Algeria. And Algeris, which is the capital, it's right here on the Mediterranean Sea. Good. It's a very big country, one of the biggest. And now the best known facts about Algeria is the largest African nation. Okay, this is a geographical fact. And Algeria's na national animal is the ever adorable huge fennec fox. Fennec fox are those small, very small foxes with uh, big, very big, long ears. So that little cute thing, it's the Algeria's uh, national animal. And the capital is Algeria's. Okay. Now, next in our list with letter A, that starts with letter E. It's Angola. Angola, which is here. in the central South African zone. Angola is another big country. Okay, I'm gonna highlight. And the capital is Luanda. Luanda. What a, a good known fact about Angola is that is a Portuguese speaking country. So the main language in Angola is Portuguese because it was a former Portuguese colonial state. Uh, another known fact is that the Kalandula waterfall or cascade is the second largest in Africa and it's just after Victoria Falls. So Kalandula is the second largest uh, cascade or waterfall in Africa. Okay, in Angola their traditional dance is called Semba. You know, Semba, and it's believed to be the root of what later evolved in Samba in Brazil. Well, very interesting facts about Angola. Angola, good. Now, let's move further. Next one will be and first uh, country that's starting with letter B it's Benin well Benin it's right here I'm gonna zoom in because we have a 
small state. Benin is between Nigeria and Togo and Burkina Faso in the north. So I'm gonna highlight Benin now or draw the outline. And Benin has the capital at Porto Novo, I mean, you may see here. And it was once known as the Kingdom of Dahomey. The Kingdom of Dahomey. And this Benin has one of the youngest population in the world. So this was Benin. Okay, now zoom out and let's move to next one in our list which is Botswana so Botswana Botswana it's here in the south well you can zoom out I can zoom out to see the entire just a moment yes no Okay, here we have Botswana. So let's outline Botswana. The capital of Botswana is Gaborone. Gaborone. It sounds very Italian, right? And Botswana is Africa's oldest continuous democracy. And has the Africa's highest concentrations of elephants, so the most elephants are inside this territory. And like I said, it's the Africa's oldest continuous democracy. Now let's move to the next one in our list, which is with letter B. It's here. It's Burkina Faso. I'm gonna zoom in because it's a small state. And here we have Burkina Faso. Well, actually, the, I try to spell Ouagadougou. Ouagadougou, it's the capital. I think I spell it correctly. And no best fact about Burkina Faso is that was part. So about Botswana, uh, about Burkina Faso is the part of was the part of Mossi Kingdom, and was a French colony. That's are the best known facts until today. Now, next in our list would be will be Burundi. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and let's move to see where Burundi is. It's near. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna zoom in because it's a small state. And we have... Just a moment, I need to move the camera. Okay, now we are gonna focus on Burundi. It's a very, very small state. Here in, uh, in the north of Tanzania. Okay, I'm gonna highlight it. Right, small. And the capital of Burundi is Gitega. Gitega. Well, Burundi has two capitals. It's Bujumbura and in 2019 the government was transferred political from Bujumbura to Gitega and both are recognized as capitals. So such a small tiny uh, state has two capitals. Well, the most interesting fact about Burundi is that the jogging run it's banned. Yes, you cannot jog. You cannot do jogging in Burundi. Only with special permission from the local authorities. Which is quite very weird. Okay, now. Let's move to 
the countries that are starting with letter C because we have ended the countries with letter B and with letter C we have first Cameroon well we have Cameroon and which is right here I'm gonna zoom in here we have Cameroon okay let's outline the contour yes right he has exit to the Atlantic Ocean and the capital of Cameroon it's Yaoundé Yaoundé well best known facts about Cameroon is that there are 230 spoken languages so 230 spoken languages in Cameroon including French and English well meanwhile during the Cameroon's history the state history Germany France and Britain have colonized all Cameroon but not all in the same time just one by one transferring the administration from one country to another good or for one colony power to another right next in our list will be Cape Ver Cape Verde Cape Verde well Cape Verde it's an archipelago in the Atlantic Ocean so in order to see it I need to move the map right here I'm gonna zoom in and here it's Cape Verde here and the capital it's an archipelago and the capital it's Praia Praia what good known facts about about Cape Verde is the archipelago was uninhabited until 15th century this, so this was a completely wilderness archipelago well the country has one of the Africa most stable democratic governments it's maybe this due to the fact that it's an archipelago and it's outside the mainland who knows but there are interesting facts all right i'm gonna zoom out and next in our list will be with c central african republic or cr well central africa republic it's right here just a moment okay i'm gonna zoom in central african republic and the capital it's bangui bangui this is not an l it's an ai bangui okay now the best known facts about central africa republic it's one of the poorest one of the poorest countries in the world not in the africa in the world and it's home to the world's second largest rainforest and the first largest rainforest it's in brazil so this one which looks like a small country to me compared to the others or let's say medium country in africa has the second largest rainforest in the world which is quite uh, i don't know it's so weird right now we're gonna move next in our list just a moment it's chart well we have chart which is right here i'm gonna zoom in we have chart i'm gonna outline chart now well the 
capital of Chad, it's N'Djamena, N'Djamena, which is here, yeah, N'Djamena. And Chad it, uh, it's also known as the Babel Tower of the World. And that's due to the fact because it's of its cultural diversity. It has over 200 ethnic groups and 100 languages spoken inside the country. And, uh, the name Chad comes from the Lake Chad, which is the biggest lake in the countries and one of the biggest lakes in Africa. So, right, very interesting. Okay, let's move out to the next country in our list will be another smaller hippolago. We are talking about Comoros Island and they are here near Madagascar. So we have Comoros Island, right? And the capital of Comoros Island is Moroni, Moroni. Well, actually, what's interesting about these small islands, they are all volcanic islands here. And the Haripalaga is being called the perfumed island because of their fragrant plant life. And they are known for the great scenic beauty. So, this is a good place, a good spot, location to travel and plan your vacation. You will not regret it. Good. Now, let's move to the other country that are starting with C. And in our list will be the Congo Democratic Republic. And Congo Democratic Republic, which is right here, I'm gonna zoom in. It's big. Now, this is a big country. Okay, the capital is Kinshasa. Kinshasa, or Kinshasa, I don't know which is the correct term. So we have Kinshasa. The, the Democratic Republic of Congo is the second largest country in Africa after Algeria. And Congolese, <coughs> Congolese armed groups and elements of the army have long brutal history of recruiting child soldiers. That's, that's very hard to believe. But those are the facts, they are recruiting child soldiers. I think because of the shortage of men in the country. Right, and now let's move to the neighbors, because in our list, next one will be Congo Republic, Republic of Congo, and it's nearby. And this is Republic of Congo, this is Democratic Republic of Congo, and this one is Republic of Congo, which are different states. They have been divided in the 90s. All right, so the Congo Republic has the capital at Brazzaville, 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 and the Congo River is the deepest river in the world, which is crossing both countries. The Congo River and around 70% of the country is covered by rainforest. This is the fact to the, to the Congo Republic. And the Republic of Congo is home of the famous Pygmy tribe. I think you heard about the Pygmy tribe. Well, very known, very interesting facts about. Now let's move to other country in our list because we are starting now with countries that have first letter D. 
and first in our list is Digibooty. Digibooty, which is here. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. It's a very small state, Digibooty. Okay, I'm gonna try to highlight a bit. It's so small. Oh, maybe I'm gonna fail and I will outline Digibooty. And the capital is Digibooty City. A lake of sal, which is inside a country, it's ten times salter than any sea, and it's the lowest point in Africa. So they have the saltest lake in Africa. Savor on nations, maybe I think due to the fact that it's a strategic point here at the, in the near the African Horn. Uh, some countries have including US and China and France have military bases on the territories of G Djibouti. All right, and the most interesting fact is that the capital of the city, the Djibouti city, it's built on coral reefs. Well, so they have a capital that it's built on, on a coral reef. Well, that's an astonishing guy. Oh, fact. Good. Now, let's move a little bit north, because next in our list will be Egypt. Egypt. Okay. We have Egypt, capital of Egypt. It's Cairo. Cairo. Well, the only remaining monument of the seventh and ancient wonders of the world is still standing in Egypt. And it's the only the Great Pyramid of Giza in El Giza, Egypt, and it stood the test of time. The pyramids of Giza are located near here, near capital Cairo. Here it's Giza. You see where to famous pyramids are and we have Mount Sinai here well Mount Sinai is famous to the fact that Moses in the Bible climbed to receive the Ten Commandments and he's located in the Sinai Peninsula which is this one here Sinai Peninsula and this mountain is sacred for both Christian and Islamic religions. 95% 95, 95 of Egyptians, they are living along the River Nile. Well, you will see here the River Nile. I'm going to try to highlight a little bit to try the contour of the River Nile, which is crossing here nearby Cairo and through the Nile Delta it's diverse in the Mediterranean Sea so and Alexandria which is the biggest port in Egypt was named after Alexander the Great Alexander the Great good so these are the best known facts and more interesting about Egypt, Egypt. All right, now let's move further to the next country. Right, now next in our list it's starting another country with letter E and it's Equatorial Guinea. Well, this is a very small country, so small that they cannot even write a name on it. So, you can see this square here. This is in fact Equatorial Guinea. It's right like this between Cameroon and Cameroon. And the capital of the Equatorial Guinea is Malabo. Which is this one here. Malabo. And it's it's here. It's not inside. Right, so, 
Malabo, in, in fact, it's a small island outside the country's mainland. And it's here. So the country's here. And Malabo, which is on uh, the capital, it's situated on an island outside the mainland borders, which is very interesting. Well, Equatorial Guinea is the only African nation to have Spanish and Spanish as an official language. So Equatorial Guinea has Spanish as an official language and it's the only country in Africa with this fact. Well, another fact is that it's the richest country in Africa in resources or mineral resources and oil. Well, this tiny little country is the richest in minerals and oil. Good to know. Good. Right. Time to move to the other side of the Africa because next country in our list is Eritrea. Eritrea. And I'm gonna zoom in. And here we have Eritrea. Eritrea. And the capital is Asmara. The capital is Asmara. Well, Eritrea has never held a presi presidential or national er election since independence in 1993. They have the same president since 1993. This sounds like a dictatorship. Eritrea is home to the one of the oldest port city in Africa, Adulis. I don't know, I think it's Adulis, it's not here on the map. And over 30% of Eritrean freedom fighters were women. Holy shit. So 30% of their freedom fighters that came and won the uh, independence were women. My god. Right. Now. Uh, next in our list. It's another small country and it's located in the South African area. We talk about Switzerland or Elswatini. Right, I'm gonna zoom in because this is a very very small state. It's Elswatini or Switzerland. And the capital is Mbappne. Mbappne. It's not Mbappe, it's Mbappne. Okay, this is very very small. Svatini or Switzerland. So they have two capitals, Mbappne and Lobamba. Mbappne it's administrative and Lobamba it's legislative. Wow, this is the second country in Africa and it's very tiny little small country that has two uh, two capitals. Why the small countries have two capitals in Africa. Is there a reason? Well, the country is home to the world's oldest iron ore mine, and Venya mine, which is inside here. So the oldest iron ore mine, it's in Venya mine. The mountains in Esvatini is Mola, Mola Native reserve clock over 3.6 billion years old. Oh my god, it's so hard to spell this kind of words. I think these are related words to their native language. Now, good, now let's try, let's move a little bit north here. Yeah. I'm gonna zoom in because we have next in our list Ethiopia. We have Ethiopia. Now 
Oh, I took a little space from Kenya. I think nobody bothers. Good. <coughs> the capital it's Addis Ababa or Ababa and Ethiopia's Danakil depression is the hottest place on earth. The average year-round temperature is 35.4 degrees Celsius. So, and this makes the hottest place on earth. And Ethiopia, it was, it believes, or the legends say that it was the birthplace of coffee, Ethiopia. They are huge coffee exporters also. So, this is Ethiopia. Right, now let's move. Zoom out of okay. here. And we're gonna move here on the Atlantic coast. Because next in our list will be Gaboon. Gaboon. So we have Gaboon. You know, and the capital it's Liberville. Liberville or Liberville, sorry, it's Liberville, it's not Liberville. And Gaboon was the center of slave trading activity in Africa. Gaboon is home to around 80% of the Africa's gorillas population. Well, this is quite nice. And if you want to find for sure a gorilla, you should travel to Gaboon. Uh, Another fact is, I don't know, but I remember for zoology that you heard about the famous snake Gaboon Viper. I don't know if it's related to the country or to the area in which it's found. Good. Right. Okay, so we finished with Gaboon. And in our list, the next is Gambia, Gambia, which is here. Just a moment, right here. We have Gambia, and it's a very narrow, long state, a very thin state, long. And the capital is Banjul. Banjul. Oh, I will try to. Just a moment. I need to focus. Okay, now. This is Gambia. And I'm trying to outline it, but it's very hard to do the microscopic size on this map. Right. About Gambia. The Gambia is predominant Muslim country. And during the election, Gambians vote using marbles, which is a very unique type of uh, voting, using marble rocks. And it's named after River Gambia, one of the West Africa's major rivers. Gambia, okay. Next in our list will be Ghana. Yes, it's nearby, not far away. I'm gonna focus to make sure it's clear enough to see every detail. And we have Accra as its capital. So this is Ghana. Well, about Ghana. Ghana is the second largest producer of what? This is the second largest producer of gold in Africa. The Kumashi Central Market, locally known as Kejetia Market, is the largest single market within the West Africa region. Okay, quite interesting, yeah. Who knows? If you visit Ghana, just leave me a comment below. I'm very curious to find out your uh, op opinions about Right. And since, because we are here and in, in next in our list will be Guinea. Guinea. Alright, I'm gonna zoom in. A very small country. 
not a very small one compared to the others but it's smaller so Guinea and the capital is Conakry Conakry well Guinea it's the world second largest bauxite production nation Guinea was formerly named, named French Guinea and of course because it was French Guinea the French is the national language in Guinea okay right and, um, of course next in our list will be its neighbors Guinea just a moment to focus Guinea Bissau Guinea Bissau it's next in our list well the capital of Guinea Bissau it's only Bissau yes it's Bissau and Guinea Bissau islands islands because they have islands here small but that they cannot be seen very clearly the Guinea Bissau islands Okay, like here are run by women who oh, this is matriarchal this island island the Bisagos and Bijagos islands are run by matriarchal society on these islands women are leaders in love economy spirituality and marriage ar arrangements they do marriage arrangements well this is a fact an oldest uh, attribute of the mother heart the marriage marriage arrangements the country has its own language we never be sound creole my god so that's quite interesting in fact cool yes good now we are in our list with another country that is here in the in the area we are talking the Côte d'Ivoire Côte d'Ivoire or Ivory Coast Ivory Coast or Côte d'Ivoire the capital is Yamosukro Yamosukro I hope I spell it correctly. It's a very long name, Yamosokro. You cannot see because I, I draw the uh, outline over. Yamosokro, Ivory Coast. It's one of the world's lowest life expectancy countries, and at just 57 years. And it's it's home to the largest church in the world. Completed in the 1990s, the Basilica of Our Lady of Peace of Yamasukru has an exterior area of 30,000 square meters. Oh my god, 30,000 square meters for just one church. You should Google it. You should Google it. So, good. We're gonna move to the other side of Africa. Next in our list will be Kenya. Yes, Kenya, which is right here. Here is Kenya. I'm gonna zoom in. Right, we have Kenya. Right, good. Good things about Kenya is they have the capital to the Nairobi which is not a good thing because this is their capital best known facts about Kenya Kenya has 15 national parks and reserves on its territory there are over 60 languages spoken in Kenya and of course everybody knows about Mount Kenya it's the second highest mount in Africa after Kilimanjaro and Mount Kenya it's the second largest peak 
in Africa. Good. Zoom out again to see the whole continent. Now, perfect, let's move to the south. Next, we have Lesotho. Lesotho, which is another small, tiny country. The capital of Lesotho is Maseru. Maseru, here we have Lesotho. Good. And Lesotho, water and diamonds are Lesotho's biggest treasure. Lesotho is completely surrounded by South Africa. So this is like an enclave. And Lesotho uh, cave the dweller still exists in Lesotho. Well, this is insane. They have cave dwellers. Yeah. All right. Now. Okay, next in our list. First zoom out. It's Li Liberia or Liberia. Liberia, which is here, yeah, I'm gonna zoom in, Liberia, the capital is Monrovia, Liberia it's only, the only black state in Africa never subjected to a colonial rule and it's Africa's oldest republic. It was created for free slaves. Yes, Liberia. Right. Now, zoom out again. Let's move north because next in our list it's Libya. Libya. Okay. Libya is a big country. Okay. I'm gonna contour it. The capital is Tripoli. Tripoli. Let's see. Let's zoom out. Okay. Zoom in. Here it's Tripoli. Tripoli. Good. About Liberia. Uh, about Libya. Sorry. Libya has Africa's largest proven oil reserve and over 90% of Libya is desert, desert or semi-desert. It's the only country in the world with a plain flag. It's a simply green flag. It was a plain flag. Uh, now it was uh, replaced, but it was a simply green flag and it was the symbol of, of uh, Libya. What an odd, what an odd uh, fact that you are uh, a 90% country with deserts. So the territory is over 90% in deserts and you have a green flag. Um, but they replaced meanwhile. Good. Now, in our list, next one is Madagascar. Right, we're gonna go in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> Zoom in. We have Madagascar, which is a big island. Madagascar. The capital is Antananarivo. Madagascar is the fourth largest island on Earth. And Madagascar is the world's biggest producer of high quality sapphires so high quality sapphires are produced here inside good to know Antananarivo is the capital good now let's move to the next one next country or next state call it what you want we have Malawi I'm gonna zoom in again 
we have Malawi, which is here. Well, Malawi is the first country outside Denmark to have a factory of breathing Kalsberg beer. So they are breathing Kalsberg beer and they are outside Denmark. I don't know which is the connection. Malawi is an agricultural country and its top exports are tea and tobacco. So the Danish have opened a subsi subsidiary breathing Carlsberg beer in Malawi. Malawi. Good. In our leaks, next one will be Mali. Mali, which is bigger here. Here it's Mali. I'm gonna zoom in also. So we have Mali here. Oh, sorry. The capital of Mali is Bomako. Bomako. Mali used to be one of the world's richest nation and was home to the great emperors. No, Mali is one of the world's poorest nations and has 12 national languages. So, from rich to poor, this is the proof. Mali. My God. This is very frustrating from, for some that are living here, I think. Mali. Okay, let's move to their neighbors. Next in our list is Mauritania. We have Mauritania right here. This is Mauritania. Oh, yes. Good. The capital is Nokachot. Nokachot. No, no Akchot. I think it's No Akchot. Mauritania is the largest country to abolish slavery. The Bay of Noadibu, the Bay of Noadibu in Mauritania, it's home of the one of the world's largest ships graveyard. In fact, here it's one of the largest ship graveyard. Mauritania is a desert nation, and two third of the country it's covered by Sahara Desert. Sahara Desert, which is, I'm going to show you. These countries are from here north are affected by Sahara uh, Desert from Mauritania to the Sudan here. Yeah. All right, good. Next in our list will be Mauritius. Mauritius, which is in the Indian Ocean. Here, yeah. Mauritius. I'm gonna zoom in somehow. Mauritius we have here. And the capital. It's Port Louis. Mauritius. Right. About Mauritius. It's pretty remote. Yeah, in, indeed, it's pretty remote. It was discovered by Arab and Malay sailors. Due to human activities, the Mauritian nation animal called Dodo became extinct in 17th century. Well, they were authentically originated for an extinct animal called Dodo. Oh, that's interesting to know, good to know. Now let's move because next in our list it's Mozambique. Mozambique. I'm gonna zoom in and we have here Mozambique or Mozambique. Right, and the 
capitalist Maputo. Where is the capital? Oh, it's here in the south, Maputo. I, I highlight the word, so it's oh, I forgot a piece of country. Maputo, it's here. The flag of Mozambique is unique and it stands out because it shows an AK-47 rifle, a Kalashnikov rifle. They have a Kalashnikov rifle on their flag. The rifle symbolized, well, AK-47 is not a rifle, it's an assault rifle, but okay, let's pass this. The rifle symbolizes defense and vigilance and even through Mozambique, it's a still very poor country with half of its people living with less than a dollar per day. So if you want to live very cheap, you can live here with less than a dollar per day. So maybe this will be your next de destination if you want to spare and save some of some your money. Go to Mozambique. I bet they have very low prices at all products right move out uh, to the next country it's Namibia we have here Namibia okay I'm gonna zoom in Namibia which is a big country well the capital it's Windhoek Windhoek Namibia has the world largest population of free roaming cheetahs. So they have free roaming cheetahs, the largest population in Namibia. Namibia is home of the desert elephants. And you know that elephants, they are kind of uh, animals that they are like to live in forests, rainforests, jungles and savanna. Well, Actually, not in Namibia because they have desert elephants, so they can adapt and live also in desert. Namibia has some of the highest sand dunes in the world. This is the Kalahari Desert. So here inside, on this area, it's the Kalahari Desert. That's why. Okay, now we're gonna move a little bit north because we have Niger. We have Niger here. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, so let's outline the country's border, Niger. And the capital is Niamey. Niamey. This sounds like a Niamey. This name sounds like an Asian name or something. But this is the capital, Niamey. Niger is home of the largest protected area in Africa and it's home of the world's largest known animal carvings. And this country has been inhabited for over 50,000 years. Oh my God. <laughs> well, they can boast with this ancient history signs, of course. Well, it's time to go to Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay, so below Niger is Nigeria. Nigeria, the capital is Abuja. Abuja. Here, in the middle of the country's area. It's the mo it's the Africa most populous country. Nigeria is one of the largest film producers in the world and it's known as Nollywood. Well, we have Hollywood, we have Bollywood and we have Nollywood. So Nigeria is home of the Nollywood movies and uh, Nigeria boasts the largest economy and growing economy in Africa. So there are very big facts about this country. Very interesting. Okay. Next in our list is Rwanda. Rwanda. Right, and it's small, very small. Okay, we have Rwanda and the capital is Kigali. Kigali. 
Oh, this, this is almost impossible to outline it. Very small country. Rwanda, it's, it's known as the land of thousand hills. And it's a major producer of coffee and tea. And, well, this is... Pay attention because this is quite uh, nice. No plastic bags are allowed. Well, they're very ecological, so... Plastic bags are banned. Hmm, very interesting. Well, they have uh, bags make, made out of uh, leaves or uh, banana leaves. They're quite <laughs> ecological. Next country in our list is Sao Tome and Principe. Sao Tome and Principe. Okay, I'm gonna zoom because this is outside the mainland. It's a it's an island, or maybe it's said it's our two islands. It's Sotom and Princip. Good. The capital of Sotom and Princip. It's Sotom. Yeah. So there are two islands. This one and this one. Good. The country was founded by Portuguese in 1470. Both islands are part of Cameroon vol volcanic mountain line. It was one of, one of the first countries in Africa to adopt democracy. Well, nice. Good. Now... Okay. Let's move a little bit north, because we have Senegal. Senegal. Zoom in. Here we have Senegal. And the capital is Dakar. About Senegal. Senegal is home of the tiny car free island made from seashells. So they have uh, small islands made of f dead seashells outside the mainland. Jol Fadit and Bopur, its entire islands, were built from millions of clam shells accumulated over generations. Senegal was once home of the largest self-trading center of the African coast. And Senegal, it's place to a pink lake which is unique and it's called La Croce or Rose Lake. Yeah. And maybe the most famous fact is, I think everybody heard at least once about the famous rally Paris Dakar. Mm -hmm which start in Paris and ends, ends in Dakar, which is the capital of Senegal. And it's one of the hardest uh, rallies around the world. Wow. Okay. Let's move in the Indian Ocean again because we have another archipelago. Huh. Next in our list is Seychelles. I think anyone knows about Seychelles. Everybody knows. Well, Seychelles is a big archipelago. <laughs> Very hard to outline it. So, there are some points across that are symbolizing the islands. Well, Seychelles, the capital is Victoria. Seychelles were once home saltwater crocodiles but they are distinct they're extinct from there so uh, saltwater crocodiles rumbled once in these waters here yeah. the Seychelles was uninhabited until around 1770 so 1770 when French settlers began to arrive with their African slaves well Seychelles is over 19 Nine percent water. I believe this because it's a very big archipelago dispersed here. So that was Seychelles. And zoom out. Okay, now it's time to move to the other side of the African coast in the Atlantic, on the 
Atlantic Coast because we're gonna talk about Sierra Leone. I'm gonna zoom in. Well, where is Sierra Leone? It's near Liberia. Okay, we I found it. We have here Sierra Leone. Very small country. And the country's capital is Freetown. What a great name. Freetown. I wonder what is free there. Right, so Sierra Leone means roaring mountains and it's the country of the infamous for blow diamonds. A giant snail called Ghana snail lives within 99 to 190 miles of the coastline, maybe here, of Sierra Leone and uh, and other West African nations such so as Auri, Coast Benin and Nigeria. So a giant snail lives here in these waters. It's Akatina, Akatina. It's the name. Oh, sorry. Oh, eh, I forgot to focus. So Akatina, Akatina, which is a giant snail, it lives in these waters year round. Good. Next in our list will be Somalia, which is on the other side. Yeah, we have Somalia and the capital of Somalia is Mogadishu. So, Somalia is here. It's on the African horn here. And about Somalia, it has one of the lowest life expectation in the world. And it's a very poor country. And they are very good known for the, their infamous Somali pirates which they are in fact from this country. I think you have heard about the Somali pirates. Good. Now it's time to go in the south, far south here. We're gonna talk about South Africa. This is South Africa. Well, capital of South Africa, it's Pretoria, Pretoria. And it's the largest meat producer in Africa. Two thirds of Africa's electricity is generated here in South Africa. And as much as 80% of Africa's rail infrastructure is found in Africa, in South Africa. It's a very, very developed country, a former, a British colony. There are three capitals, cities in South Africa, namely the executive capital, which is Pretoria, the judicial capital, it's Bloemfontein. I don't know where. Bloemfontein. And the legislative capital, it's Cape Town. They have three capitals, so I wondered about small states with two capitals but South Africa has three so Pretoria Cape Town and Blomfontein Blomfontein well quite interesting indeed okay now it's time to move north we're gonna talk about South Sudan South Sudan which is right here we have South Sudan Right, the capital of South Sudan is Juba. South Sudan holds one of the richest agricultural areas in Africa with fertile soils and abundant water supplies. Being the youngest country which was splitted during 2000 from Sudan, its national identity is still emerging. Quite nice. And because we are here, the next is Sudan or 
it's not a North Sudan. This is Sudan and South Sudan. There is no North Sudan. And North, it's the South Sudan, the Sudan has the capital to Ka Khartoum. And Sudan is home to the more pyramids than Egypt, which is right here. So, how could that be? Sudan has more pyramids than Egypt? Well, that's quite interesting. And at some point it was the Africa's largest country because it held also South Sudan in it. But now they divided. So, you can see that Nile it's crossing here both South Sudan and Sudan. Now let's move to Tanzania. Tanzania, which is right here. Tanzania. Dodoma is the capital of Tanzania. Where is Dodoma? Here it's Dodoma. Mount Kilimanjaro is the tallest mountain in Africa and uh, the peak of this mountain is here in Tanzania. Right. And Lake Tanganyika here is the second largest lake in the world. Lake Tanganyika. Right. Let's move. Next in our list it's Togo. So let's move to Togo. Okay, Togo is here. On this side we have a very long thing. I uh, country here. This is Togo. Leke. Togo capital it's Lome. Here it's Lome. Fazao Mal Malfakasa National Park is Togo's largest national park. And the people from Togo, they are practicing voodoo. Oh, I thought only Heidi is practicing voodoo now. It seems that also Togo has some roots in this area, in this field. Good. Next in our list will be Tunisia. Tunisia, which is right here on the Mediterranean Sea, North Africa area. We have Tunisia. Why? Right. And the capital is Tunis. Capital is Tunis. In the past, underground houses were built to escape the searching heat and the sun of Sahara from the sun of the Sahara's desert. Red is the color of morning in Tunisia, so it's not black, it's red. So if you visit Tunisia, be sure that you are not wearing red, unless you mourn someone. Well, there is something wrong here, because... I forgot about Morocco. So I forgot about Morocco, which is here. Sorry, I overpassed. It was unintentional. And the capital of Morocco is Rabat. Well, 90-90% of Moroccans are Muslims. I'm gonna zoom in the country, Morocco. And Morocco has seven wine regions, but it's hard to find alcohol because it's a Muslim country. Mint tea is the national drink of Morocco. And now let's move to Uganda. Uganda. Next in our list, Uganda. It's right here. And it's outlined. The capital is Kampala. 
highest density of primates and gorillas worldwide. And here the lions are climbing in trees in Uganda. They have crazy lions if they can climb in trees, believe me. So in Uganda, pay attention and check out because maybe a lion can fall off from a tree. Good. Now, next one in our list, it's Zim Zambia. Zambia, which is not far away here. Yeah. We have Zambia, the capital of Zambia, it's Lusaka, Lusaka. You know about here, the Victoria Falls? Well, Zambia, Victoria Falls is 108 meters in height and it's almost double the height of Niagara Falls. In Canada, Zambia was named after the fourth biggest river in Africa, the Zambezi River, is the fourth longest river in Africa after Nile, Congo, and Niger rivers. So here we have Zambezi, and here we have uh, the Victoria Falls. Next one in our list with Z, it's, and the last one, it's Zimbabwe, which is right here nearby. Zimbabwe, the capital of Zimbabwe, it's Harare, Harare. Lake Kariba is the largest man-made lake and reservoir in the world by volume. So, here, Victoria Falls is one of the seven wonders, but Victoria Falls is here nearby, Zambia and Zimbabwe. And it's one of the seven world's wonders of the natural world. Located between them, Zambia and Zimbabwe, is the largest curtain falling cascade in the world. Good. So now let's take a look because here it's how. Wow. I forgot another country, the Western Sahara, which is right here. Layun, Layun is the capital, and it's entirely covered. Western Sahara, it's entirely covered by, uh, by, uh, by desert. So this is how the map of Africa is looking after I outlined at each state and I explained the best known facts. I hope uh, you liked this video and if you liked please hit the like button and we will see next time. Until then, if you aren't subscribed, this is time for for you to hit the subscribe button. This will be make, make me very happy. Thank you for watching and we will see next time again, of course. Bye bye, I wish all the best.